Hello everyone, it's time to move on to lesson number three. Um, we will be talking about if statements in this lesson. They're pretty simple, but it might take a little while to explain uh, all of, well, not all of them, it's pretty much just if, else, but to explain some basics about them. So, let's go to create project like usual console project now let's call this one if else no else lesson there we go if else lesson that'll work press ok you know alright so what you need to know about the if statement is there are two parts to the if statement you have your if and then you have your everything against the if uh, essentially called else now when you use an if statement you need to put a condition in and if the condition um, is true then the your program will run whatever is within the if uh, block this will call it a code block so let's begin um, Let's do, uh, how about we check for numbers? There we go, that'll work. So, let's have a int um, if int, that works. I don't know, if int, just like that uh, lowercase i, looks cool. Let's do 50, high number. Now, if, if, int. No, in fact, let's change that. That might be a little confusing. Let's change that to my int. So it's not if, if, int. If my int is lower than 100, then open brackets. If my int is uh, less than 100 console dot right line um, my int is less than 100 space closed bracket now here's the other part I was talking about the else um, essentially if you just put else see how the else and the if are bolded that means that if any single other condition any single other case if uh, my in is equal to 100 if it is greater than 100 anything you can think of that uh, if basically if the first one was not true at all it will jump to the else statement so you want to have your open bracket console dot right line sorry my int is not less than 100 so don't forget your console dot read line just so you know this thing just waits for input basically pressing enter um, so let's run this. So remember, my int is 50, which is in fact less than 100. So we should expect to receive this line of, oh, here you go, my int is less than 100. Now what happens if we change this to 101? Well, let's run that again. My int is not less than 100. See that? the first if condition did not it was not true so it jumped to the else now you can have else if but you'd have to type out your condition again so my int let's make this one greater than 100 and my int is let's change this to greater let's run this again 101 which means we should 
expect this line on our console. My int is greater than 100. Perfect. Everything worked out. So, you pretty much now know all the basics of if else statements. Um, if you want, you can in fact have just if and if. Um, your choice. And also, you can have an if inside of an if, which I will demonstrate right now. Uh, let's see, what can I... Oh, I got it. I got it. So, first it checks to see if my int is lower than 100. If that is true, it will move into this little block between the brackets. And let's put another if there. My int equal. If you're going to have an is equal to, it must be two equal signs. Um, just once equal sign is something else, which you will soon learn. Sorry for the prolonged S's. If my int is equal to, let's go back to 50. Console dot right line. My int is exactly fifty. Um, oh dear! Do not put a semicolon. Normally, with every other line, when your function is over, you will want to, in fact, put a semicolon. But in the if and else situation, you do not want to put a semicolon at the end. That will cause an error. Um, let's just put it there so you can see the error. Possibly mistaken empty statement. Um, so you do not want that there. So now let's change this back to 50. So. If my int is less than 100, which it is, it will write my int is less than 100. Then it will check again to see if my int is equal to 50. There you go. You got both lines because both statements were correct. Congratulations. You now one of the biggest basics of C Sharp. Um, next up, our iteration looping.